Uh, hi, my name is Tom Hill, and I'm the product manager for Xilinx's DSP platforms. And we're here today to give you a preview of our new Kintec 7 DSP kit. Uh, shown here is the Kintec 7 D DSP development kit, which uses the Kintec 7 base platform, which is based on our highly successful Vertex 6 DSP kit that's been commercially available for a while. Uh, we've taken the Vertex 6 targeted reference design and we've ported it over to the Kintec 7 device with minimal, with minimal effort thanks to the unified architecture that the two devices share. The platform includes everything you need to get started, including two FMC expansion slots, an FMC I.O. daughter card with, with, uh, with high-speed analog, uh, and a targeted reference design that includes the high-speed analog interface as well as a digital up conversion and digital down conversion um, IP blocks. So what you see here is a sine wave that's being displayed using ChipScope. The DSP reference design includes a pattern generator that can produce either an impulse or a sine wave. The design also provides the ability to mux isolate the analog and the digital logic separately uh, to assist with design debug. Now, this kit shares the same high-speed analog interface um, and FMC data card as our V6 DSP development kit. Uh, this is developed by our partner for DSP uh, and it's a, it includes a high-performance analog interface card uh, with data converters and clock conditioning circuitry. Uh, these data converters are provided by Texas Instruments, and this includes an 800 mega sample per second 16-bit uh, digital to analog converter and a 250 mega sample per second 14-bit analog to digital converter, along with uh, onboard clock generation uh, and clock conditioning uh, and clock conditioning circuitry as well. The FMC expansion slots are a key element of our targeted design platform strategy. They were first introduced with the six series development kits. And we've had, an, uh, we've had a growing ecosystem of FMC data card partners ever since. Xilinx today has over 20 different uh, partners that offer over 50 different FMC native data cards. And there's over 16 different uh, native FMC data cards just with high-speed analog interfaces on them available today. The KC705 board uh, features a Kintec 7 K325T device. Uh, this device includes over 356,000 logic cells and 840 DSP48E1 slices. Now the Kintec 7 device family includes larger devices with up to 1,920 DSP48E1 slices. And together this delivers an impressive 1.2 teramax of DSP processing bandwidth. Uh, with all this performance, I'd like to now turn your attention to the real breakthrough with Kintec 7 which is the incredibly low power we offer in a device that offers Vertex 6 uh, uh, levels of performance. Uh, shown here is the TI, power, uh, the TI Fusion Digital Power Designer program. Uh, and this is displaying the power measurements for the Vertex 6 development board using a system monitor utility. Both the Vertex 6 and Kintec 7 development boards use TI power controller regulators uh, to measure device current. Uh, we've attached a TI download pod to the voltage rails for each board to measure the current so we can compare them. So first, uh, let's look at the power for the, the Vertex 6 uh, DSP kit running the same reference design. And we can see here that this is showing the output power to be roughly 2.73 watts. Uh, now let's see how this compares to the Kintec 7 power measurements which is shown here. Again, we have the TI power, uh, power digital um, uh, Fusion Designer uh, user interface up here, and we're using we're using the voltage regulators to measure the power on the device. And shown here in this window right here is the total power being measured on the device uh, for Kintec 7. And we can see that uh, total power is 0.47 watts. Uh, now this, when we compare this to the 2.73 watts that we measured on the Vertex 6 device, this represents an 83% power reduction on a device that offers the same uh, clock frequency performance. Uh, ICE 13.1 fully supports the Kintec 7 devices. If you don't already have ICE software, you can download it from www.xilinx.com. And if you don't have a license, you can register for a free 30-day eval license and, uh, and you can get started using that. Uh, the designs that we're showing today are available from the Kintec 7 Early Access Lounge and you can register and download these designs and you can begin working with them. Uh, and also, if you need hardware, uh, you can actually purchase a Vertex 6 DSP development kit today. Uh, you'll get the FMC uh, daughter card 
and you can use this for, for, uh, for any hardware needs you have. And when the Kintec 7 development boards are available later in the year, uh, you can very easily migrate the daughter card and the designs over to the new Kintec 7 uh, development platform. Thank you.